All right, guys, we have it. Sean here with the Kings Courtyard Lawn Care Service. And you are looking at the new, I don't know if you can see it, if it'll show up, Equipment Defender Backpack Sprayer Rack. I've been waiting for these to come out for a while. It looks like a, a screw or a nut. And uh, they're finally here. It's a pretty cool little design. Um, pretty easy to install. I think I might have had maybe 15 to 20 minutes install time. And uh, that's because, you know, we're not reading instructions and kind of having to do some things backwards. But pretty cool design. Uh, same kind of system as before. A little latch right here. And you raise it up. Locks in place. You pull this pin to release it. Uh, it's got your little wand holder there. You can put it on either side, whichever one is uh, that'll fit you. Adjustable. Uh, uh, base right there. Uh, the arms is fully adjustable too. I'm sorry, the arms is adjustable too. And uh, this one has the key, which I'm not a fan of, but we'll try it out. I might like it. And uh, so yeah, pretty cool. And uh, so yeah, with that being said, I also have something new for you guys um, that I picked up a couple of weeks ago. Let's get it out here. Okay, you guys can see it. It's a new Cyclone. I think this is a 2.5 backpack sprayer. I really like this thing. It's battery operated. Uh, it's a little bit better than those uh, ones that I had before. And I'll get into that a little later on. But so far, I'm loving this thing. And I'll get into a, another review later on. I'm a, uh, try to uh, use it a little bit longer but uh, it's been a pretty good one so it's real windy out here so I apologize for that but kind of show you guys what it's going to look like you just take your wand out and uh, put it right there in that holder the one thing that I have to say is that this I don't know if there's a way to fix that but this nozzle is uh, or this top is a little bit crooked so I'm gonna have to figure out a way to fix it and uh, but it works as it should for this and now it's uh, secure it's not going anywhere to the left or to the right it's gonna stay there I gotta put the bolts in at the bottom but other than that we should be okay so uh Thank you guys for tuning in. New equipment defender, backpack, sprayer rack, and a new Cyclone 2.5. Alrighty. Kings Courtyard Lawn Care Service. Just finished my Monday, uh, what people call Memorial Day. And uh, we just got done, me and my kids. Took them along with me today. Didn't get any footage, much footage I should say. Um, just trying to get it done. It's a hot, draining day. And um, as you guys can see, 
Take this tree down right here. It's just been a hot day. And uh, another lawn care crew coming through. But uh, there you go. But the reason for this is basically I'm doing a update on the equipment defender rack sprayer rack. This is the new design, and I like it. Um, this one, like I said before, has the key, which is new to me, and uh, has a latch right here. When I first put it together, I was wondering why the latch was down there like that, but mainly so you can flip it up. It locks and stays in place when you flip it up. This bottom is completely adjustable, which I still haven't tightened all the way down yet. I did tighten it down a little bit, but uh, it is completely adjustable. It holds your, uh, I think it holds the sprayer in place pretty nicely. Which I kind of got it kind of backwards or strap in kind of backwards. There we go. Um, this top just kind of is at an angle, if you guys can see that. It's supposed to be straight, but whatever. Uh, it was straight when without the washer piece in it, but you know, you need the washer in it. So uh, to get it back down, you basically pull this pan out and Sorry, pull this pan out and then you have to push it down. Can't do it with one end. So, basically, like that. And then once it latches, it's, you can take the key and lock it and it locks in place. So, uh, yeah, I'll probably keep this locked up most of the time. It's got a little wand holder, which I wish I would have put that on the other side. Uh, now I'm thinking about it, but it's all good. And, uh, yeah, I like it. Uh, I think it costs roughly $200 online. I use the uh, Blades 10 coupon as I did with all of my other equipment defender rack. Uh, this is my blower rack. I have another one, it fell off. I haven't put it back up yet. Uh, so I've been using one blower all season. And also with my uh, four position trailer rack, uh, trimmer rack rather, uh, used the cold uh, blades 10 so it gives you 10% discount so uh, yeah I like it it's pretty cool it mounts pretty easy uh, and like I say it fits any sort of rack that's out there on the market right now so you guys give it a try again like I want to say $219 I think I wound up paying 204 bucks for it if I can remember correctly somewhere around 200 bucks you get a sprayer rack, get your fancy, um, get your fancy uh, sprayers locked down. Don't just leave them on the back of the truck because they will steal them. And these things are expensive. They're about 200, 250 bucks themselves, I believe. So um, I know I just don't want to be spending 250 bucks every time somebody breaks in and steal my stuff. So. Hey guys, Sean here with the Kings Courtyard Lawn Care Service. <clears throat> I know it's been a while since I posted a video and um, <laughs> I apologize about that. I've been super busy. I've been working. Um, they wanted an accident right there. Um, I've been super busy. I've been working. I've been um, training my kids in the process. Um, and uh, just been getting more yards. Yesterday, I think I did like 14. Today, I got 12. Um, and as you can see, um, it's been raining. Uh, I'm downtown at my commercial property right now, and <clears throat> I'm gonna be um, taking care of it. It's a small property. Slept, I slept wrong on my neck last night, so my neck really hurt. So I don't really even feel like doing this today. But it's part of it, y'all. You know, getting out here, doing these properties when you don't feel like it, especially when you're solo, because um, nobody else is gonna do it. 
you know, you got to do it. And so just trying to stay motivated out here when it's wet, dreary, and raining, and you'd rather be in your bed. But I'm out here about to make some money, uh, provide for my family, my wife, my kids, myself, and uh, take care of things. So uh, I could go on a rant about gas going up. I can go on a rant about getting new properties. I can go on a rant about uh, old clients that's uh, just giving you a hard time, all of that stuff. But <clears throat> I'm gonna try to keep it positive today and uh, just, you know, get some grass mold and, you know, really show what we do here at the Kings Courtyard Lawn Care Service. So uh, hopefully I can get some video in and some of it might be a mixture of some of the videos in the past couple of weeks or so. So if you see some videos with sunshine, then you know it's an older video, but I gotta get this content out here. Um, I'm gonna be posting some content from my phone because I didn't have my camera all the time. So I would just snap out my phone real quick, do it before and after. And uh, so you might see some of that in the next coming videos. Uh, you might see, like, you might see some hot, dry days, which we had a lot of dry days, uh, dusty days. We had um, like 90, de 90 degree temperatures, uh, mid 90s, high 90s last week. And so um, <clears throat> with, we had to contend with that uh, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday of last week. And um, so, yeah, we, uh, we've been working through it and it's been rewarding, but man, am I tired. <laughs> I am so tired, y'all, but it's all good. You know, at the end, you know, we'll get our reward for this, this work. So this is what we come out here for to get to work. This is what we uh, become business owners for is to get paid and this is what why we love doing what we do no matter how tired you get because this is the reality of lawn care um you're gonna get tired you're gonna get um discouraged days you're gonna get up and you're not gonna feel like doing it but this is the path we chose so you know we got to do it we got all these people depending on us and not just doing it but doing it right so I'm gonna get out here and get this commercial yard cut and I will get back with you guys hopefully later. And if not today, at least I have some footage for you guys that you can see um, some of the footage that I've been doing uh, since you haven't seen me last. So, or in a while. So stay tuned.